Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is my second part or my second um, video of the comparison between the crushed ice effect and the Larimar effect. So my first white I mixed with some of the casting craft and I find with pigment paste it may not be too opaque. I don't know if anyone has seen the video with Sandra and myself because um, we try to just, you know, do the Larimar effect, but of course it didn't, didn't work. <laughs> we, we just put too much paste in our, um, in our resin. So now my second coaster, and this is the crushed ice effect. And there I used the Inuki, like I'm mainly using. Sometimes I'm also using the... Um, How's it called? Crystal white, also resin ink, but most of the times I'm using the Inuki. It depends what I just have to hand. Now I'm giving it just a tiny torch just to pop, pop any bubbles. And then I start with my colors and I'm using resin inks, this time only resin inks. And the first color is the red bead. And I'm using the same colors, exactly the same colors for all the two coasters. By the way, this is the deep geode, irregular geode mode from Modes and Shapes. I used two of them and the other two there's something else inside. So yeah, I'm using this for my pour. And the resin I'm using is the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company. It's the resin I achieve the best results with, um, with many, many techniques. Okay, you need to wait 24 hours till it's completely cured. But um, for me, it really works very well. And now my second color, you saw it, um, is the pumpkin. It's also resin ink from Octopus. And I was not sure if those colors would match, but yeah, I find the combination quite interesting. <laughs> so I'm pouring this into my mold. And then I'm taking the clear resin and I'm filling up my mold with the clear resin. And I didn't measure anything. I, I'm just pouring, but maybe sometimes I should measure, I don't know, but I just go from the feeling and hope for a nice result. What I would like to do once, um, because I'm mixing always the Inuki for the crushed ice effect, quite opaque. Um, I should maybe try to, to use a little bit less from the Anuki, from the white, and see what results I get um, then. This is something I still need to do. I always want to do it, but then I'm so into my mo mode, mo into my mode, <laughs> and then I'm just uh, yeah doing um, what I'm used to do. And here I have again a very beautiful glitter, which Sandra Rettig um, shared with me. It's um, from Laura's Art Corner. But Sandra, you didn't label those. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what it really is, but it looks awesome. And it's like a very, um, like, um, how to say, red goldish tone. And they are more um, like glass glitter. So I'm mixing a little bit into some of the resin, which I still had in my jar. You see it there. And then I'm giving it into the center. It's really a beautiful color. But um, I'm waiting here a little bit before I put it into the center till yeah, to the center is closed with the white or almost closed. So this is a little time lapse. Oh, I, I put it in the center before. I'm sorry. This is sometimes what you have with the voiceovers. I'm, I'm sorry. But this was a little time lapse just to see how the resin is moving. And it moved even more. And now you see it. This is one hour later. And I checked again. And they looked completely different. 
So I'm very curious how um, they are going to turn out. And look at that, the crushed ice effect. It's like 3D when you look on it from the pouring side. It's amazing. I'm always so stunned with resin, what resin can do. But anyway, next day, time for the molding. So it's around about 24 hours later, maybe a little bit less because they are so deep, um, the coasters, um, that they cure quite fast. But just let's have a look. And I'm so, so curious, especially of the my try of the Larma effect, but now first the crushed ice. And yeah, I made it blurred. I'm very, very sorry at that point. I thought my camera would focus, <laughs> but it made it blurred. But look at that. I'm, I'm very happy with this. And now my second coaster. And there I noticed I was blurred because you will see it in a second. Yeah, we are clear again. <laughs> I'm sorry. And look at this one. I know there's a lot of white in the center, but look at the edges. I love the effect there. It really looks like glass, I think. I'm very happy with this pour. And yeah, this is the final result. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video and see you hopefully for my next video. Take care and by the way, before I forget, I want to thank everyone because I'm on 8K on YouTube and I never expected this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, take care guys. Bye bye.